Welcome back. Time for today's Gulf Coast Spotlight. This year's Lending Tree Bowl is coming up in December, but there's a number of things to talk about leading up to the game that you can be a part of. This morning we have Murray Cape, First and Ten Club President, and we also have Lexi Canton with Strategic Partnerships. Good morning to both of y'all. Good, good morning, morning, Joe. Thanks good so much for you. being here. Always good to see y'all. Always fun to talk about the Lending Tree Bowl you and bet. also what y'all do throughout the year leading up to the game. Murray, let's start with the First and Ten Club. You guys always get fantastic guests. We do and uh, we're very excited. 24 years, we're going into our 24th year and we've got a great lineup. We've got, uh, we'll have four meetings this year. Okay, so and when does this all kick off this year? Kicks off on October 10th, 5.30, and we have a new location, Moe's Original Barbecue downtown. Well, that's a fun place to hang out it, for sure. Great, and uh, great rate for any folks out there who want to join the club who are college football fans. Uh, $100 for the four meetings, nice. $25 a meeting. It's hard to go to McDonald's and spend, uh, <laughs> you can spend that in 10 minutes with a family. Well, especially so, when you're getting that double yeah. quarter pounder. Hey, take a look at the screen here. It looks like the first person lined up to speak is Coach Womack from South Alabama. That's pretty exciting. Absolutely. He had, a, as you know, a great uh, run this past week uh, sure. against UCLA and uh, came within two points of winning the game. So. We're, we're excited and looking forward to the game this week, too, with La Tech. Two, two and one start, could go three and one this weekend. Yeah. So a lot of excitement around South's program, really Absolutely. looking strong to start off the year. Tell us about some of the other guests you have coming up. Yeah, well, uh, after Coach Womack, we have uh, Zach Etheridge, who's mm -hmm. uh, assistant head coach at Auburn. Uh, great personality, a great guy, and very informative. So he'll be a great guest. And uh, we have Coach Kelly defensive coordinator from Alabama. Mm -hmm. So all the Alabama fans will be very excited that he's going to be here. So you got the Tide and the Tigers. We yeah. do. And then we finish off with uh, Tim Brando, a great guy. Uh, he'll be on November the 7th and he's been here before. Uh, everybody knows Tim from his days at CBS and sure. then now with the Fox Network. And I think if anybody knows the SEC, it's Tim Brando. He lives in Louisiana, and he's really on it. So it, we're excited about him. Lots of fun to hear him speak. If people want to come out to these, you said the membership is $100. How do they go about becoming part of that club? Yeah, they can call uh, the Lending Tree Bowl okay. at 251-635-0011. They can go online, or they can just come by the office uh, on Hillcrest. All right, great stuff there. Now, just last week, we were talking with some organizers from the City of Mobile about some things to help out the community, and one of those that we touched on was the Lend a Hand Small Business Grant. Lexi, tell us about this. Yeah, so last year we gave away um, two $10,000 grants, and this year we're going to do four $10,000 grants wow. um, to small businesses in Mobile, um, city or county, and um, you do not have to pay back the grant. Um, that's been probably the number one question we've been asked sure. is if you have to pay it back and you don't. Well, so this is a great opportunity. So how does this work? Who's eligible to apply for this grant? Tell us a little bit about that type of stuff. Yeah, so um, you have to be um, in the Mobile City or County limits, mm -hmm. um, 25 employees or less. Um, we are giving uh, preferences to women, minority or veteran owned sure. businesses. So a lot of excitement, a lot of opportunity there. If you're looking for some help with your small business, looking to get it off the ground, up and running, the Lending Tree Bowl is definitely helping out with this Lend a Hand program. So I assume you have to go online to apply for this somewhere? Or tell me how that all works. You do. You can go to our website mm -hmm. um, at LendingTreeBowl.com uh, and go under Community and just click on the application. And the deadline for that is coming up quickly. Nine days. It's next Friday the 30th. All right, so you have until the end of this month to get those applications in. So if you are a small business looking for some help, this is a fantastic opportunity. And then, of course, we talked about the First and Ten Club. We talked about this grant coming up, which you have to apply for the end of the month. We want to talk about the game, too, itself. When is this game taking place? It's going to be December 17th this year. All right, so kind of smack dab in the middle of that bowl season. A lot of excitement if we're taking a look at some of the video. And then the level of the game, it's been a lot of fun to have it at Hancock-Whitney, too. Absolutely. The, the switch to Hancock has been a, a great thing for us, and uh, we're delighted to be back there again this year. You know, the Sun Belt has been hot. Uh, Certainly, the, yeah. Their teams are elevated. There's now 14 teams in the Sun Belt, so 
Uh, of course, we'll look for a great game and a good matchup this year. Yeah, Our games have been fantastic throughout the year. Great games, great venue, great timing there in the heart of uh, the middle of December. And, of course, we'll have to wait to see how the season progresses yeah, to see right. who's going to be actually be coming here for the game. But plenty of opportunities and great things to talk about with the Lending Tree Bowl. You can find a link to their website on ours, the Fox 10 News, fox10tv.com. Guys, thanks so much for coming in. We appreciate it. Thanks Glad to be us. here. All